All right, in this episode, I'm continuing the toolbar. We're going to be covering the ripple edit tool and the roll edit tool. I'm going to go through the difference between a, a ripple and roll, which are very common tools for professional editing. Let's start by showing a couple shots here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull this shot out. We have this establishing shot on a jib where the cowboy comes walking out and gets in visit, into position. I'm going to hit in point and out point when it comes to a stop, I and O, and period to drop it into my timeline. Now we've got this clip in where he walks out and gets into position. And now I'm going to cut to the medium shot where he walks in. I'm going to back time this a little bit to where he walks into the shot here and kind of get the same shot. So in point, out point, Shift 3 to go into my timeline, and period to drop that down in. So now I've got a point, and now I've got an edit here. It cuts from the establishing shot and for, to the cowboy shot here. Quite literally, a, what's called a cowboy framing, whether this is a cowboy or not. This is called a cowboy shot right there because we're showing the waistline. Uh, so we're cutting from this full shot or establishing shot to the cowboy shot right there. But these are mismatched, obviously. So he walks into the shot, he stabilizes, and then he walks into the shot again. So what we're going to do is show the demonstrate the roll and ripple tool and how you're going to use these for timing. Okay, so let's talk about the ripple tool now. So I've got this edit down here. Obviously, it's mismatched, but we're going to do the. We're going to show you what the ripple tool is used for. The ripple tool is used really for a timing tool, a timing edit tool, kind of a matching edit tool. And what this does is basically, let's look at this clip up here. I'm going to do this manually first of all, and then we're going to use the ripple tool. So I want to match this. I want to match where it comes walking into the frame right there. I kind of like that clean entrance there. So what I'm going to do is kind of get him in the same position on this clip. I'm going to trim that back here and kind of find that same point where he's at the same position, right about there. So there's this much of a gap that needs to be taken out right there. So basically, I trim this out point back. I'm going to select this region here, this gap, and I'm going to hit delete, and it pulls it together. Now let's play through that and look. So let's look at that shot, and that seems to match right there. But now we can do that with the ripple tool. We did that like in three or four steps there, and the ripple tool will do that in one step. What the ripple tool does, let me hit the shortcut for the ripple tool, which is the letter B. And what it does is it uh, brings up this little tool with an X through it if you're not over an edit. You have to bring it over an edit, and then you're going, this looks very similar to the trim tool, but it's yellow instead of red. The red is a trim tool, and this is a ripple tool. The yellow means this is a ripple tool. What this does is it will shorten an inner out point, whatever your clip you're pointing towards here. Right here, I'm pointing toward this clip's out point, and move it over to the right. Now it's pointed toward this clip on the right, towards its end point. So what this does is it will shorten or lengthen the end point or out point of a clip without affecting the adjacent clip. So watch this. As I grab this clip, I trim this backwards, and I let go. It just trimmed that out point and deleted the space in between all in one move. I can do it on this clip's out point or end point here, trim it to the right, and he steps, in, and he steps into the shot, or trim it to the left further back and just extended the, the clip and pushed everything else out or it will shorten the clip and pull everything in else in. So this will only affect one clip's in point or out point without affecting, it will trim the in point or out point of a, of a single clip without affecting the adjacent clips and it will fill the gap or extend the gap as necessary. Up here, watch this as I trim, it'll show two things here. You've got the window to the left and the window to the right, those two frames up there. The window to the left indicates the clip to the left, and it indicates its finishing out point. It shows the frame of the finishing out point, its new out point. So if I pull this to the right, you notice it moves further. If you pull it to the left, it moves inward. And now, now what you can use is those two frames to get this to match. What I'm going to do is get to this clip here and trim the end point to where he's just starts turning so I can match this. I'm going to use this as a matching tool. That's not where I want the edit to happen, but I'm going to get right where he turns his shoulder, right there. That's a good matching point right there on the end point on this clip. Now I'm going to grab the out point of this clip and get that on the exact same frame. Try to match those two right there is where he turns his shoulder. Now let's play through that and see if it matches. Turns his shoulder, and that's a perfect match right there. So that matches, but that is not where I want the edit to happen. The ripple tool is used for a matching tool, but it's not used to necessarily perform the edit where you want the edit to happen timing-wise. The edit matches from frame to frame there. Now I'm going to use the roll tool to decide where I want the edit to actually happen. So let's choose my roll tool, which is N, as in Nancy, for the roll tool. Same thing, it's got an X through it. If you don't get it on an edit, it won't do anything. And what this does is it basically shrinks an in point or an out point or extends an in point or an out point 
while affecting the adjacent clip next to it while compensating to the with the adjacent clip. So basically it's like doing this. I'm going to use my trim tool here, my selection tool. I'm going to shrink this out point right here and I'm going to grab this clip and extend it right there. So I shrunk one while extending or I can go the other direction, shrink that end point while extending this out point. And uh, that will pretty much, the timing is going to be very similar here if I play. The, the edit happens on a different point here right there and it looks pretty good but I changed the point where the edit happens. I'm going to undo all that. And now I can use the rule, roll tool to do that all at once. Instead of grabbing the trim tool and shrinking it in and extending that out in several moves, I can just hit N for my roll tool, grab this edit, and now shift it to the left or to the right. And you see up above in those two frames, it has the left clip's new out point and the right clip's new in point. And you see those are changing simultaneously. So now I can decide if I want him to clear, clear the frame on the right clip there, on the cowboy shot, I'm going to move this where he clears the frame and walks into it right there. And now we see him. So let's play through that and see how that works now. Now it cuts to here and he walks into the shot right there. Actually, I want that just a little bit further where we see him already kind of in the frame. Let's play through and see how that looks. See a little bit different on the timing there. But I like that, so I'm going to move it just a little bit further right there. And actually, the legs match up pretty well there as well, the way he's walking. So looks really, really good. So there we go, and there's our edit. So that is the difference between the ripple and the roll tool. The ripple tool will affect the inner out point of a single clip, extending it or shrinking it without affecting the adjacent clips. And the roll tool will change the in and out point of each clip touching each other on the edit there. So as you shrink one clip, it will extend the other. And at the next episode, we will be going through the rate stretch tool and the razor blade.